enzyme catalysis let us now understand enzyme catalysis almost all enzymes are proteins for example ribozymes there are some nucleic acid that behaves like enzymes these are called ribozymes an active site of an enzyme is a crevice or pocket into which the substrate fits enzymes through their active site catalyze reactions at a high rate you can see here the tertiary structure of enzyme Enzymes are complex nitrogenous organic compounds which are produced by living plants and animals. They are actually protein molecules of high molecular mass and form colloidal solutions in water. Reactions that occur in the bodies of animals and plants to maintain the life process are catalyzed by enzymes. The enzymes are thus termed as biochemical catalyst and the phenomenon is known as biochemical catalysis examples of enzyme catalyst reactions the first example is inversion of cane sugar the invertase enzyme converts cane sugar into glucose and fructose the reaction taking place is C twelve H twenty two O eleven plus H two O in presence of invertase enzyme as a catalyst gives C six H twelve O six plus C six H twelve O six that is glucose and fructose. The enzyme act as a catalyst in this reaction. The second example is. conversion of glucose into ethyl alcohol the zymase enzyme converts glucose into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide the reaction taking place is c6h12o6 in presence of zymase as a catalyst gives 2c2h5oh plus 2co2 the zymase enzyme act as a catalyst in this reaction third reaction is conversion of starch into maltose the diastase enzyme converts starch into maltose the reaction taking place is 2 times c6h10o5 whole n plus nh2o in presence of diastase as enzyme gives n c12h22o11 that is maltose the diastase enzyme act as a catalyst in this reaction the fourth reaction is conversion of maltose into glucose the maltase enzyme converts maltose into glucose the reaction taking place is C12H22O11 plus H2O in presence of maltase as catalyst gives 2C6H12O6 that is glucose the maltase enzyme act as a catalyst in this reaction The next example is decomposition of urea into ammonia and carbon dioxide. The enzyme urease catalyzes this decomposition. The reaction taking place is NH2CO NH2 plus H2O in presence of urease as enzyme gives 2NH3 plus CO2. 
the urease enzyme act as a catalyst in this reaction. The next example is conversion of milk into curd. It is an enzymatic reaction brought about by lactobacilli enzyme present in curd. A small quantity of curd is added to warm milk. The milk is stirred and it is set aside for a few hours at a warm place. In a few hours, the milk changes into curd. Characteristics of Enzyme Catalysis Enzyme catalysis is unique in its efficiency and high degree of specificity. The following characteristics are exhibited by enzyme catalyst. Most highly efficient Temperature pH Coenzymes Activators Enzyme inhibitors Highly specific in nature Click on the corresponding buttons to know more about them. Most highly efficient One molecule of an enzyme may transform 1 million molecules of the reactant per minute. Temperature Highly active under optimum temperature. The rate of an enzyme reaction becomes maximum at a definite temperature called the optimum temperature. On either side of the optimum temperature, the enzyme activity decreases. The optimum temperature range for enzymatic activity is 298 to 310 Kelvin. Human body temperature being 310 Kelvin is suited for enzyme catalyst reactions. Enzymes function in a narrow range of temperature. Each enzyme shows its highest activity at its optimum temperature. Activity declines both below and above the optimum level. Show the enzyme deformation only when temperature increases. Low temperature preserves the enzyme in a temporarily inactive state. pH Highly active under optimum pH the rate of an enzyme catalyst reaction is maximum at a particular pH called optimum pH, which is between pH values 5 to 7. Enzymes function in a narrow range of pH. Each enzyme shows its highest activity at a particular pH called the optimum pH. Activity declines both below and above the optimum level. Coenzymes Increasing activity in presence of coenzymes The enzymatic activity is increased in the presence of certain substances known as coenzymes. Coenzymes are also organic compounds but their association with the apoenzyme is only transient, usually occurring during the course of catalysis. Now observe that after associating with a coenzyme 
efficiency of enzymes increases. Activators Increasing activity in presence of activators. Activators are generally metal ions such as Na+, Mn+, Co+, Cu+, etc. These metal ions when weakly bonded to enzyme molecules increase their catalytic activity. A number of enzymes require metal ions form coordination bond with side chains at the active site of enzymes and substrate. For example, zinc is a cofactor for the proteolytic enzyme carboxypeptidase. Now observe that metal ion has been weakly bonded to enzymes. Influence of inhibitors and poisons Like ordinary catalyst, enzymes are also inhibited or poisoned by the presence of certain substances. The inhibitors or poisons interact with the active functional group on the enzyme surface and often reduce or completely destroy the catalytic activity of the enzymes. Enzyme inhibitors can be Competitive inhibitors, elasteric inhibitors, feedback inhibition. Competitive inhibition of enzyme. When the inhibitor closely resembles the substrate in its molecular structure and inhibits the activity of the enzyme, it is known as competitive inhibitor. Elasteric enzymes Elasteric enzymes are constructed from two or more polypeptide units each having its own active site. Feedback Inhibition Multi-step chemical reaction When each of the steps is catalyzed by the same enzyme, complex or different enzymes is called a metabolic pathway. For example, glucose gives 2 pyruvic acid and C6H12O6 plus O2 gives 2 C3H4O3 plus 2H2O. Feedback inhibition is the switching of a metabolic pathway by its end product. When enough end product has been made, one of them reaches an earlier enzyme in the pathway and stops the process.
influence of inhibitors and poisons like ordinary catalyst enzymes are also inhibited or poisoned by the presence of certain substances the inhibitors or poisons interact with the active functional group on the enzyme surface and often reduce or completely destroy the catalytic activity of the enzymes enzyme inhibitors can be competitive inhibitors allosteric inhibitors feedback inhibition competitive inhibition of enzyme when the inhibitor closely resembles the substrate in its molecular structure and inhibits the activity of the enzyme it is known as competitive inhibitor Allosteric enzymes Allosteric enzymes are constructed from two or more polypeptide units each having its own active site feedback inhibition multi step chemical reaction when each of the steps is catalyzed by the same enzyme complex or different enzymes is called a metabolic pathway for example glucose gives 2 pyruvic acid and c6h12o6 plus o2 gives 2 c3h4o3 plus 2h2o feedback inhibition is the switching of a metabolic pathway by its end product when enough end product has been made one of them reaches an earlier enzyme in the pathway and stops the process highly specific nature each enzyme is specific for a given reaction that is one catalyst cannot catalyze more than one reaction for example the enzyme urease catalyzes the hydrolysis of urea only it does not catalyze hydrolysis of any other amide